This is going to be a very simple routing system that will allow to split different pages and handle these pages individually. Before jumping into the actual code implementation, let's find out what is URL. Usually URL consists of three parts, whether our connection is secure, a domain, and the third part is request URI. And in order to implement simple routing, we need to match request URI and implement a logic that is going to be responsible for processing this request URI. So we can build as many pages as we need to, and each page is going to be processed by a separate PHP function or a route. The technique of finding the right route for the request URI is called route, or it is also known as dispatching a route. So in order to implement routing, let's go ahead and create index.php file. And in this file, we would need to create a routes array. And this is going to be a variable where we are going to store all our URIs and callbacks. All the source code from this video is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and create a route PHP function. And this is an example of using this PHP function. So let's provide a few examples and then we will implement PHP functions. We will pass two arguments. First one is URI and second one is a callback function that is going to be executed when we will match our route. And let's go ahead and write something like echo homepage. Let's do a similar route for login. And every time we will match login route, we will write login page. These are two examples on how to use a route PHP function. Let's go ahead and create actual function. First argument is pass and second argument is callback. It's a function that is going to be executed every time we will match our pass. Let's use global to access our routes array and let's add our new pass with the callback to the array. Next, we need to match our routes with request URI from the server variable and execute a callback. In order to do this, let's go ahead and create a function called run. Implementation of this run function is the following. We are going to access our global array and also we will extract from a server global variable a request URI. Server is an array containing information such as headers, paths, and script locations. The entities in this array are created by the web server, and we are going to use request URI key in order to get access to this URI information. And we will use URI variable to match against our routes array. And let's check if we don't have much. Let's continue our search. And if we found something, let's call our callback function with these two brackets added after the callback, so it will be executed. If you use VS Code, go to new terminal, and from this we can start a new built-in web server. Let's type php minus s localhost and the port. And from this we are going to use this built-in local server in order to test our application. And in the browser we have a home page rendered on a page. This is our default router. And if we will go to login, we can see a login page. And if we will do some random stuff, we will see an empty page. And for example, if we need to add a new road, we can simply do this by adding a new road in our roads list. Optionally, we can handle a 404 page not found error by going and adjusting our logic and adding 404 handler. So let's add a road. We can introduce new variable and change a state of this variable to true in case we will find callback. And if not, we can just simply use roads and search for 404 so we can execute this page. This is an example on how to implement simple routing using PHP language using just two PHP functions.